Ay, 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 ay. You are now reacting to the seven member rookie boy group and hypen in their 2021 release, Drunk Dazed. <laughs> Me every day of the week. <laughs> What's N hyphen? N hyphen. Good question. What? N hyphen derives their name from the symbol hyphen. Similar to how a hyphen connects different words to discover new meanings, N hyphen aims to connect, discover, and grow together to create a new act. So about this song, Bumpy. this music video covers the story of blood drinking beings that use parties to lure in their prey. Did she say blood drinking beings? Yes. Wait, no. Blood drinking beings, yes. Oh, I thought she said beans. <laughs> I would have loved that. And the lyrics are about being trapped in a loop or carnival from which there is no escape. They sing, honestly, I'm scared. My reflection in the mirror is unfamiliar, but I can never escape. As time passes, the addiction to that carnival grows and the need to escape fades. It's the funnel cakes, man. Like, I'm addicted to that. Oh, bro. So the song is composed by Wonder Kid, Little 27 Club, Hitman Bang, Melanie Joy Fontana, and Michael Lindgren Scholes. Okay, oh. ready? Three, two, one. Young love. Never mind. Maybe? Maybe? <laughs> I love this. This is ballad written all over it at the beginning. Like, oh, I'm about to listen to this great ballad. Birthday party, huh? Oh, bloody birthday party. Whoa. No. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, shit. This is why I don't go out <laughs> at night, guys. <laughs> Professor Lupin? Oh. Club and bass. <laughs> so the bass and the melody are in parallel, except for the last note. So the melody goes into A, bass goes to F. They're establishing drunken days very well already, wow. <laughs> bass drops out. Ah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Background vocals very effective. Ooh. Nice. I like that it falls down the half step. It didn't need to happen, but it's a good embellishment. They are going Ooh. off. <laughs> a little falling chromaticism that they keep using. It's nice. Nice. <laughs> I, I dig it. It's a major. It's a, it's a major one chord on the verses and the chords is minor. minor. Hey, he drinking blood? His own blood? No! Ew! Gross! Mm. I'm really liking those harmonies that are on the right and left that are panned. I love the instrumentation. It's really smooth. Yeah. And warm. Very glossy. Glossy. Yeah. Word of the day. Mm -hmm. Glossy. You know what else is glossy? What? Sam's blood. Yeah. Ooh, where's he walking? Ah! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Is that their leader? It's kind of interesting. Mm. All hail. I don't know who that is. <laughs> That's an insane synth. Yeah, it's like so distorted. How could you do that you on the white the carpet. carpet? Your mother's gonna be upset with you. What? A freaky waltz. This is in three, four time. Yeah, bass drum. Yeah, this is like concert percussion sounds. Whoa. Ah, yes. Ah! The Stephen King action. 
Oh my god, that's so dope. Oh, I wish that were chocolate. Love <laughs> rain. Okay, now that's a lot. Like that's that's. Mmm. <laughs> we're back. Okay. Yeah. 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 Love it. <laughs> I like the lyrics, can't control my body. That's how I feel listening to this, you know? Yeah. What the fuck just happened? Was that, a, is this like an epilogue? This last, this is, the last part comes out of nowhere. Da, 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 da. So like hints at an A flat major. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> it's super resonant bass at the end. Oh. Cool. You gonna drink your blood again? No? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh wow! Oh yeah. <laughs> Why is it still going? It's still going! <laughs> bonus track! Bonus track! Bonus, bonus track! track. <laughs> what? She's going I to mean, the party? I she, mean, she was really late. She was really late. She was really late to the party. Yeah. Party. Wait, whoa, what? How, whoa, what? She picked up that book and then wanted to go to that bloody birthday party. And then just like completely missed it. Bummer. Rookie mistake. She missed a pretty fat hang, it looks like. That was a good hang. <laughs> I think sonically they really captured that feeling of um, drunk days. being blasted out of your mind at a party where the music is too loud. Let's paint a picture for a uh -huh. typical college dorm uh -huh. party. Not dorm. Dor frat, frat party? House party, right? Doesn't have to be a Maybe frat two party. Maybe floors, some bedrooms upstairs. The main party is downstairs. You need to go to the bathroom. If you've had a lot of drinks and you're not, you're feeling really nauseous and you're like you're really not okay, you go upstairs. You hear the bass from below goes. But you can't really make out exactly the sound. Um, and you feel like your head's in all the fuzz. That's that sound that I think we got and throughout a lot of it, especially in the chorus with a Yeah, a lot of reactors commented on feeling like a lot of the music felt like it was in the other room as if you were in a party and hearing the party like downstairs. Mm -hmm. Is that mainly just some sort of distortion effect or do you know what they did to the synth to make it sound like that? That type of effect is basically just like a high cut. Just a high cut like, EQ. Because high frequencies don't translate through walls and and ceilings, but as we well do as low frequencies. Um, Nobody got my ghost. We we, <laughs> we we translate through walls. Yeah, I think there. Was, I mean, there, like I think on the distorted synth thing, there was a little bit of a high cut for sure. Definitely, at, um, at least in that. Bridge. And then having the sub bass be really clean helps create that vibe too of just like because when you hear something through a wall, it's like kind of sounds like warmer and you get only those low frequencies isolated and that's just what a sub bass is. It's just like only the lows, there's no upper harmonics. That part of the chorus right beforehand is all a big anacrusis, it's all a big pickup. Because when the first time you hear it, the beat doesn't drop until days. So it's part of the pre-chorus like bar, like meters where it goes da 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 days and that's like two, three, four, one. Two, da, 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 da. It's three whole beats. Just one beat is missing from that bar of an anacrusis, which is really long for a pickup. Usually you just have like the bum bum or ba ba bum. But to have three whole beats at this tempo, da 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 da, and it's so noodly too, da 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 da. It was very literal days as they sang days, 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 because they were just going days, days, days. There was a little bit of, what's like the colloquial term? Slide, slide a gliss, yeah, slides, a little like gliss little down. Slides, little glissando, little slides down. Days, days, days from do ti do do. Um, which gives that kind of daisy, like woozy, nauseous feeling that comes with inebriation. I was thinking instead of nauseous qualities, I was thinking that it, it was just a lot of like the, the like instability. Jer not jerky, not instability. but it's, um, it's not lopsided. It's like, uh, um, I think like, it's, yeah, like your whole world is just right? a little lopsided. So it's just kind of floaty, maybe. Uh, I kind of like the, the vibe of the carnival part, how the, I don't know, it just sounded super open and washy, like you were lost in like a kind of fun house. Just how uh, resonant like the <laughs> the snare and the bass drum were. Like the dun cha cha dun cha cha And it was just like, you're kind of floating in this atmosphere that they created. I think the strings in that part, they kind of echoed what the vocals were doing in the bumping sections, like with that, that five, sharp four, five.
like they used a bit of that in there. Something that stood out to me is the shift from like the heart of the song to like this orchestral place when like the blood started to appear. And I don't know, I just feel like it fit that kind of bowing and the strings and stuff. Like uh, it just flowed. Drops of blood could be represented with like the pizzicato in the strings, you know? Like I think, I don't know, I think it worked. I like this. That like Euro pop, like it's like another one of my favorite yeah. drum grooves. And I really liked how like most of the heavy lifting was done by that synth. Cause like if you get too much information, like you put like a real bass guitar in, you've got like fret noise, you've got finger noise, and it just adds clutter, I think, to your mix. And that can be, you know, that, that's like the organic addition to your song if you want it to be. But when you just like put a clean sub into the mix and then let like your synths be super driven and gritty, um, it just opens up a lot of space in your mind when you're listening to it. I liked the vocals a lot. I think the performances was really tight. What are your thoughts about? Hmm? What are your thoughts, Will? <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> My noise is so canceled right now. <laughs> yeah, I like the track. That the chorus bumps. Chorus bumps. Nice side chain, side chain compression on the synth line. So, <laughs> so like just automatically makes everything groove really hard when you put side chain on it. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Owen mentioned the fact that most of the chords in the song have the F as like <laughs> So we have D, which has an F, which has an F, and then we have slash, which has an F. But the thing is, they also, over the, um, the D flat major, was it the D flat major? Uh -huh. They had da, like that. Yeah, I really yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. that, that because really it's cool. the sharp so, nine so sort like of. A bit of vagueness. But then when they get into the pre chorus, suddenly you have. Um, which doesn't feature this at all. But, but, yeah. But, but, but this feels so refreshing in the pre chorus because of how everything is F, 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 F. F, F. And then, and then you get to A flat and, and then the, flat the, 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 the female voices, which sadly Owen did not hear. It's like, ah, 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 I didn't hear that. That was different. There was the part where it was like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the D flat and the C. Yeah. It's actually, yeah, it's it. And then in the end, they kind of hint at it, which was the... That was really interesting. Like, they all make sense in the F chord. But when you hear that in the outro, it sounds like it almost has an A-flat sort of hint. So mm. I don't know if it's like text painting, probably not, but it's still cool to hear. Still cool theory and stuff. When this song first came out, people messaged me saying, I can't stop listening to the song. I keep returning to it. Why do you think this is so addicting? Why do people keep returning to it? Because it's bumping. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's super catchy. The, the chorus melody is just too perfect. <laughs> Way too perfect. <laughs> For level one melody writers, it's like, oh, they'll write down tonic, and then it doesn't really make sense. Mm -hmm. And then level two, it's like they'll write in diatonic, and it makes sense, and it's really catchy. Mm -hmm. But like, the highest is that they will use some chromatic notes, but it makes sense, and it is catchy. Mm -hmm. That's like the hardest thing. And that, that leap. You know, like I connected it to like a lot of what I hear from my like professors. They're like, repeat an idea like two times, but the, thir the third time do something different. Yeah. And they did exactly that. Like mm -hmm. they, d they did something like super cool, like the leap thing twice. And then the third time, you're thinking like, hmm, what are they going to do the third time? And then they use another really cool thing with the chromatic. Uh, oh, that, that, half yeah, that half step. Thing. So it's like, you know, the first two times they did something cool and the third time they didn't like, they didn't let us down. For me, there are two different kinds of like 
cycles in this song or things to make the music sound cyclical or round or like repetitive, like you're going in, like you're stuck in a cycle. And the one way is the typical carnival sound that you get when you break down the middle, where it's just the bottom, bump, bottom, bump, bottom. There's something about that that always like sounds very circular. But for the day, th that sounds like you're running into a wall, bouncing off, and then running into it again. So <laughs> like that's, that's over. Why it's so that's like the repeating. No, because it just it feels like you're stuck in a cycle. Like you just keep like going, and it's just very. I don't know. It gets really stuck in my head. Like, uh, and it gives you that like sinking kind of lurching feeling. Then why do people want to return to this so often? Oh, I love that feeling. It's great. Oh, it's like it's like okay. right so when you're on the edge of a feeling. roller coaster, and you're like. Like that just in anticipation or like going down or I don't know. It's just one of those songs that proves its points so well. Like it just sounds exactly how you would want it to sound. Not even how you expect it to sound, but you're like, oh, let me listen to a song called Drunk Days. And then you're like, this sounds like Drunk Days. <laughs> like, damn, good job. I'm doing good. Doing okay. I'm, doing, I'm doing good. Like, doing, like, get some air in there? <laughs> a little circulation. <laughs> <laughs>